Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Lightroom tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I want to give you a more in-depth look into our export module. Last week I showed you quickly how to add a watermark to your images and add that to your export module and we just ran through that quite quickly. So in today's tutorial let's go more into depth with that. So I'm just in my library and I'm going to select my two three images over here and I want to basically export these images so let's go down here to our export and we will be directly brought to a new export window I'm just gonna minimize everything so this is basically from scratch okay so let's start at the top first of all you got an option to export that to either your email if you want to hard drive or DVD I'm gonna say hard drive over here and keep that to my hard drive then also let's go to export location. So now on your hard drive you are now able to export this to either your desktop, picture folder, documents, wherever you want to or specific folder. I'm going to choose a desktop folder now. And also down here you will find the final destination. Then also put into a subfolder if you want to tick that you can say yes subfolder. I'm not going to do that. And add to catalog if you have a catalog system already and you want to add it to something. You can also tick this box here. Then extension file, what to do. It will basically ask you here, choose a new name from the export file, override without warning or skip. I mostly say ask what to do. So in case you duplicate a file or export a duplicate, then it will ask you, should I override this or should we skip the step? So it gives you just another warning. So keep it maybe for ask what to do. This is the safest way. Okay, minimize this and we're gonna go to file and naming. I'm going to open file and naming and under here we've got already a rename too. So I'm going to untick this and it will basically look like this. Tick it again and under here you have custom name, date and file name or just the file name and sequence or if you want to edit your own. I'm going to say custom name now down here and custom text. I just wrote tutorial already so keep it to tutorial and start with number one to whatever you go into export. So down here you get to see a quick preview already. Tutorial one of three JPEG. If you want to also lower or uppercase I mostly keep it to lowercase for the extensions there. Okay let's minimize this and go to video. If you have a video attached you will also find include video files here video format and the quality. I do not have any videos so let's go out of this again then file settings. Fitting settings very important. Image format do you want to export this as a JPEG, PSD file, TIFF, DNG or the original. I would like to keep it as a JPEG and then also over here my quality to around 100% so it's super sharp. Then also color space I'm going to choose Adobe RGB 1998 if you want to sRGB or Pro Photo or a other color space. I prefer Adobe RGB 1998, okay? And then also if you want to, you can tick this and say limit file size to whatever kilobytes or megabytes. I'm not going to tick this. I want to have it at full quality. Okay, minimize this again and now image sizing, which is very important. If you're exporting an image with a super high quality and you want to keep it to the original file sizes, then you will not tick this box and just export it under a 300 dpi pix per inch uh, resolution. But if you want to export this now for the web, you can si say resize to fit. So either you can say width and height and you can set the width to 1200 by 1200 pixels and resolution 72 dpi. Or if you want to, you can say long edge, and this is mostly for all the blogs and also for all the websites. You can say up to 600 pixels maximum or mostly 500 the width. Okay, and then also resolution 72 dpi. For my exporting, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say width and height at the moment, and I want to keep this also to 2200 pixels by 72 dpi again. Okay, minimize this and now we're going to say output sharpening. If you want to, you can also sharpen this for your screen, matte paper, glossy and also the amount low, standard or high. Mostly we choose standard and also say screen mode. So it just resharpens it a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to go minimize this again and we're going to go over to meter data. Now I showed you a very long time ago, I showed you guys how to import your images with included the meter data and how we're going to add meter data to this. So basically under here, copyright, you're just going to say copyright only. If you want to, you can also choose copyright and contact info and also 
all accept camera raw info this is actually very nice to have this now you will just add your copyright system but not your ISO and shutter and apertures that will not be added to your metadata stuff so say all accept camera raw uh, info then also write keywords as a Lightroom Hiroshi. I'm not going to tick that now, so minimize this again. And then also watermark, which I showed you last week. Tick the watermark box down here if you want to add a watermark. On the right hand side, you've got a few presets again. I think last week we had workshop one. Okay, so select that. And I'm going to minimize this again. And then post processing, if you want to also after export, do nothing or show in Finder, open in Photoshop or whatever you want to do. I'm going to say do nothing and keep it to that. Okay, minimize this. And our last step basically would be now to say export. Then Lightroom will export your images. So select export down here. And you will see over here at the top it's running and done Lightroom is finished exporting your images so minimize this and as we can see now here are three images on my desktop and if I'm opening them they'll have a super big watermark over here saying workshop okay so there you can see it all three images with my workshop watermark on top of that okay so that was my quick tutorial for today showing you guys quickly how to get to the lightroom export module hope you guys learned something from this quick tutorial if you still have any questions please email me to team at manningphotography.co today very happy to help you guys with your questions all right thank you guys for watching and see you all next week in another quick tutorial Bye bye